or is Pet <laughs> Dental Health Awareness Month? Who knew? And there's a lot you need to know if you want your little companion to be the healthiest they can be. Yeah. The teeth in humans say so much about our health, and the teeth in dogs and cats say so much about their health. Yeah, and joining us now is Dr. Andrea Dennis, who is going to tell us so much about this. She's the founder of Bloomfield Animal <laughs> Hospital. It is always so great to see you. Thank you. I wore my red today. I feel so proud that I'm beautiful. Absolutely, and you look great. Back from Florida, well refreshed. Good for yes, you. Yes, a little bit of sunshine. It yeah, goes a long way. It sure does. Well, we're going to get some this weekend. <laughs> Perfect time to we're brush our pet's teeth. <laughs> you can even take them outside this weekend and do it. Yeah. But yet, yeah, every February, it is an annual dental awareness month for pets. So we try to educate because a lot of people, they don't realize there's a problem until after the breath starts to get a little bit bad. Exactly. Right? That Nothing halitosis. The, oh, and you know, and if yeah. that's happened, we've gone way too far. Uh -oh. By the two years of age, 80% of dogs have periodontal disease and cats 70% have periodontal disease and by the time they're three if you haven't been doing any kind of maintenance or prevention it really is problematic so uh, this is what we're going to try to oh make no. sure people are aware of. I want to so, cry right now. I know, it's so oh. awful. This is, <laughs> so everything what, that you said is like checking off the boxes well, right, of Ringo. So what do you got there? Well a Does couple Ringo things uh, oh, I'm yeah. going to try. Mm. Oh very good. So I'm trying to um, make sure that I'm just people concentrate on the upper teeth. Don't worry about the insides of the mouth. Don't worry about getting on the bottoms quite yet. If you're just starting to brush your teeth, what I just want you to do is either get a small toothbrush and then just kind of brush back and forth. You don't have to widen their mouths. You don't have to do anything like that. Just lift the lip and go in a little bit. And what are you brushing it with? Oh, good. Uh, this is my favorite. This is something that is, uh, I'll put it right there. It's a chlorhexidine solution. So it's antibacterial. I'll even put a little bit on a Q-tip right here and then just again do the same thing I was doing with the brushing. Does it, is it a taste that they're going to like or yeah, no? This is, this is spearmint. It's not my cat's favorite, okay. but it's the best that we have right now. All right. But in the beginning, just get the, like, look at this little tiny toothbrush mm -hmm. for kitties. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we get that? <laughs> Most veterinarians do have them, Okay. Um, but you just kind of start with the toothbrush. Put a little tuna juice on it. Let them And that's okay to brush, brush it with tuna juice? Well, this is to start them with. Okay. okay. Okay, so they learn to accept then. the brush. That's what you want to do and start them as kittens. And then we go to our either toothpaste we have here, which is also very good. And that's, that's the gold standard. Brushing their teeth is the gold standard. Everything else, I'll, I'll tell, ask people, are you brushing their dog's teeth or cat's teeth? They say, oh yeah, I'm doing it. And you can tell that they're not. They're not. Yeah, as they're soon not. as I lift that, lift that, lift that lip, lip you're like, but what hmm. they think is that the, these chewable treats, which are fabulous, help. That, but that's still not brushing. Okay, so um, how often do we brush their teeth? Is it every day? Yes, but I was just talking to um, someone in the control room and he's doing his dog's teeth twice a day. He's doing Fenway twice a day, every day. Twice a day? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's, I'm telling him he's like the top 5% yeah. of the country. Yeah. But if you could do it every day, what they, the veterinary wow. dentist recommend is at least three times a week, but you just get into the habit. Just get into it really, the habit. And I've got some photos to kind of show you because the, What's a nice looking mouth and what's something that that's we That's a bad one. Oh, they went right to the bad one. I was gonna build up. This is horrible. This Ooh, is, is that where receding gum lies? It's more yes, and you've got that exposure of the root. You see, that's yeah. really where the top <gasps> mouth has gotten really, really bad. I, and this is after we cleaned it off. Now this is pristine. Yeah, that's okay. a good This trip. is wow. what we're looking for, and when our dogs and our cats start off, that's what we, we want to do. Okay, really quick question. Yes. Um, you know, I we were raised kind of where you don't bring your your dog yes. or cat to the vet and they don't have a teeth cleaning. Right. Um, what would you advise to those pet owners who have not, you know, implemented teeth cleaning and they ha their animals are a little older? Dentures. Well, yeah, dentures. <laughs> even if they, even if you haven't been cleaning the veterinarian, that's part of our job. That we look at the mouth health. I mean, I do it every single patient that comes in, even if they came in three weeks ago. You look for cracked teeth. You look for exposure of those roots, like we were looking at. But I think that it, don't be afraid to have your dog or cat's teeth cleaned. All right. That's the main thing. Thank you, Dr. Dennis. We so appreciate Thank it. Thank you so oh, much. My pleasure. All right,